What's going on YouTube guys? Five minute mobility flow here. I know a lot of you guys are crunched for time just like I am. This is great to do uh, as movement prep before any workout. Uh, also great for the airport. You'll get a lot of crazy stares and looks, but I promise you you'll feel way better once you get off the plane. Now again, we could spend an hour on mobility every single day or more if need be. Uh, and again, I hate seeing people spending 30 minutes on going through rolling and tissue work and then spending 10 minutes on their workout. So again, for you guys who don't do anything right now, this is gonna be a great movement prep. Set the clock for five minutes, flow through this like I do, or spend the time where you have trouble spots and areas that bother you. And I promise you, you'll be workouts, will be 10 times better for it, and the joint and tissue stuff that you have going on hopefully will disappear. So here's where we'll start. We'll go kind of a basic squat to stand drill. You guys are gonna come down, hinge the hips, kind of let the hamstring stretch for a little bit. We're gonna sink into that squat position, really try to pull the chest forward, but then we can floss from here, but we can get loose to this. You can put the hands in front if you need to. You can kind of lift the heel off the floor, kind of floss the hips back and forth, simple enough. We'll come back up, let the hammy stretch a little bit. We'll kind of inchworm out, let our upper body get loose here quick. I might even throw in a push up, or I can kind of drive back, walk the hands slightly, kind of push the heels down at the ground, I can shift my hips left to right, or I can integrate a little bit of a reach here, back towards my toes, roll through a handful again. If this feels good for you guys, spend a little more time there if you need to. Walk back out to my push-up position. I can take a step, almost kind of like that Spider-Man drill. I can floss from here left to right. If I want to, I can even kind of drop the hip a little bit. I can push back, let the hamstring stretch, pull on the toe sit back into it, or I can also kind of roll through a little T push-up variation so I can all open up the entire way. I can do the same thing on the other side, kind of sink into it, kind of floss back and forth, really push it forward. Again, I can pull back, kind of stretch the hammy there, again, spending more time if I need to, or even from here, open up into kind of like that full T, let it stretch, reach the hand around behind, bring it back in, again, sink in here, spend a little more time, drop it in, even shift the hips left to right, really let it roll, really let it stretch. I can sink back up, come here, spend more time. I can live here, you guys, let my hamstrings kind of stretch. Again, shifting the hips, even from here, I can reach the hands overhead, Just keep it simple. Almost a few kind of like seal jack variations, let it kind of roll, open up. Same thing when I come down, I kind of come into that kind of T pattern or the Y pattern or even the eye pattern, or even from here, just real basic, just let the arms kind of hang, let the shoulders kind of get loose. As you guys flow through this, we can do the same thing on the other side. But again, real easy things for you guys to do that you're not currently doing, so let your body kind of open up and move through space. So again, set the clock for five minutes, flow through that as you need to, spend the time where things are tight, and I promise you, it'll make everything better in the long run. Any other questions, hit us up. We'll be back with another video shortly to help you guys. Until then, keep eating real food, keep training hard, and as always, be nice to people.